X-Men, the animated show from 1992, season 1, episode 12, Days of Future Past, part 2, thoughts, and yeah, um, spoilers for these first 12 episodes, and uh, yeah, another episode I absolutely love. Make sure you support SAG AFTRA. There will be links in the description box. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, at the start of the episode, we've jumped back in time by just a little bit. So we see Rogue and Gambit some more. And I appreciate that it shows that even if you're really, really smooth and, and you know, if you're flirting with a girl who doesn't want to be flirting, you know, it's going to be annoying to her. Let's see. Because, like, you know, she says, don't you ever get tired of hearing yourself talk, and he says, not when I'm talking about you. That's really smooth. But, you know, she, she doesn't want to be flirting with him, so she doesn't like it, and that's, you know, that's a good message for the, the kids. And, yeah, so we see, you know, we, we pretty quickly catch up to the end of the previous episode, and uh, Bishop explains about, you know, and, and basically, because one person did something wrong, the entire minority group is blamed, and that is sadly true. You know, we, we saw it in the, the, during World War II, America was fighting Japan, and they assumed that every Japanese American would be on the side of the Japanese, so they put them in internment camps, you know, completely disproportionate, you know, including children. You know, uh, George Takei, known for Star Trek, the original series, has talked about, you know, he was a kid back then, and, you know, at the time he didn't really understand. Later he came to realize how awful it was. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, yeah, as we get, you know, as Bishop retells what happened, we get this sort of Terminator 1 sound-alike score, and I love it and want to marry it. And, yeah, and then Bishop says, you know, it didn't stop with mutants. It went on to all humans, so, you know, very Skynet. I gotta say, I personally prefer when it focuses on mutants. I I remember the comic as being focused on mutants, but I know the Days of Future Past live-action movie also said, you know, eventually it was all, it was, yeah, non-mutant humans as well. You know, I, I feel that the, you know, we should empathize enough with the minority that we should not want a minority to be, yeah. Let's see... And yeah, uh, Wolverine points out that the X Men don't actually the, the the rest of the X Men don't actually know Gambit all that well, and yeah, we still haven't gotten his his background, but it is coming. And you know, Gambit says, "If you don't trust me, I'll leave." And yeah, Wolverine has to babysit Gambit, which yeah. Uh, I liked seeing Gambit and Bishop fight, and we get the the bit about, you know, Bishop absorbs energy and can, you know, release it. And, you know, <clears throat> Gambit can, you know, put some of his, his power into, you know, he can he can charge objects, but he can't absorb the, the power when it comes back, so that's a cool, yeah. And... Wolverine says, you know, something other than cards will get cut around here. And Gambit manages to escape by setting this trap, you know, both in the deck of cards and by the TV. So this is not, the, the first maybe half of this episode is not very action heavy, but it is heavy on tension. You know, it really effectively builds the, the tension throughout because we know the assassination is coming let's see we'll bring down the house and the senate too and yeah uh, very cool when we see the x-men fighting the mutants fighting for apocalypse 
you know, I, I quite appreciate, you know, we see how much trouble they have with Blob, and it ends up, you know, I think it's Wolverine who gets him thrown into the water, in the pool, and Storm freezes it to ice, and it's like, you know, no matter how strong you are, like, ice is pretty difficult to, to get out of, like that. This kid's crying. Uh, somebody do something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Wolverine would be very good with, with crying children. And looks like he's running for a Congress, and we see that it's Mystique posing as Gambit, who's the assassin. And because, you know, made sure that there was the witness, which I appreciate, some stories forget that there has to be someone witnessing it, you know, if, if one person does a thing to someone who doesn't survive it, 